Well, we have some guys, an essayist, producer, man of mystery, Sean Pamphilon. He witnessed Ankiel's second start of the spring. He's got more. The Cardinal left-hander went nuclear in Jupiter today, walked the first five men he faced. When I was 11, I had this facial tick. And one day, every time I twitched on the mound, I heard this kid in the bleachers say, or he just sat there counting. My coach said he was counting strikeouts and pitches, but I knew better. Second, this was his second appearance of the spring in his first. He's been almost flawless. Not today. They do not know what to do. As I entered the ballpark to watch Rick Ankiel pitch, I thought of kids who count aloud and our culture, which likes to watch the train wreck. What so proudly we when you're standing alone on the pitcher's mound, the best thing you can do is close your ears. Because if you can hear them counting, your days are numbered. Maybe if the rain had kept coming down, they would have called the game. Maybe if he didn't have time to think about it for that extra hour. Maybe if we didn't show up. There's walk number eight. Maybe if that smart kid behind me with the big mouth and the yet to be formed compassion wasn't counting strikeouts and pitches. Fastball and uh, almost a wild pitch. Maybe they just saw what he could hear in the bullpen. Maybe Rick just needs earplugs. I mean, do you realize that me, his problem he was having before we got here, the reason why we're here? Yeah, he, no, he's having it again. Maybe I'm just a hypocrite, because his story, or should I say our story, wouldn't be nearly as interesting if he picked up where he left off. Season was, was this moment today something that you dreaded or something that you looked forward to? Uh, the, was that first strike out a real boost? How was the weight between innings? Did you feel like you were in complete control? The crowd seemed squarely behind you today. Did you notice that? Did that help you at all? You know, I don't know. You try not to pay attention to that. Did he seem more or less apprehensive than he normally did he in looked, a start last year? He looked just like he did last year to me. I'm sure you can all understand that the questions I'll respond to are the ones that address my plan and not my past. That's already been written and talked about, and it's out there. It's old news. There's nothing I can add, and I don't care to repeat it or dwell on it. I hope you don't either. Take a few questions. How distant does the memory of last season's playoff seem today? You just have to wonder, when is enough enough? I think what's really important is for him to develop his keys. You know, there's a, there's some mechanical keys, there's some mental keys. Tony LaRusso will say it time and time again. We don't worry about the mental makeup of Rick Ankiel. This isn't mechanics. Come on. And that's going to be all for uh, Rick Ankiel. After the game, a cameraman took heat from his boss for not getting a Rick Ankiel soundbite. I mean, what's he going to say? high school, I've got incredibly rare talent that could get me a $200 million contract when I'm 25. And Keel starts out the side. But I might not cash that check, because I hear voices. And this is borderline ridiculous. Some real. Is this really happening? And some imagined. I'm satisfied with how I've dealt with adversity in the past, and I'm optimistic about how I'll deal with my life in the future. He has so much to prove to everybody, which he doesn't. But in his well, for some reason, I'm thinking Rod Serling should be sitting over there, but it's actually <laughs> Kevin Kennedy. And keeping up with the whole uh, Sean motif.